Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys my favorite and the ultimate way to measure the amount of water that I have in my fresh water tank here at my cabin. And so what we're gonna be using today is the Victron Tank 140 which is gonna be connected to the Serbo GX by Victron. And then that's gonna to connect to 50 feet of cable that goes to a pressure sensor that you drop into the water and it measures the differential in pressure from the water that's above it and gives you a very accurate reading on how much water you have in the tank. This will work for pretty much any size tank. I mean, you could use this in a rain barrel, you could use this in a 1500 gallon tank like we'll be using today. You could use it in square tanks, cylindrical tanks, up to 30,000 gallon tanks it really doesn't matter. Um, I think this would be applicable because it's very adjustable to different pressure differentials so you can just fine tune it exactly the way you want it. And so from anywhere in the world with those three components I can check in real time and see exactly to the gallon how much water is in my freshwater storage tank which is incredibly incredibly cool. I've been using it now for about three months and it's been incredibly accurate. I love this upgrade. This system can also be used for RVers if you wanna put a, another tank level on the outside of your tank using an ultrasonic tank level system. Or if you wanna connect these to the traditional spin-in sensors that go on the side of your tank that already come with your RV, this will work with all of those systems and so it's incredibly, incredibly cool. And we're gonna jump into it today just so I can show you how it works and how I set mine up um, as far as it running out to the tank. And I'll probably do another video on how to actually uh, program all this if you guys are interested, but it's pretty simple as far as the tank setup goes. So why don't we just jump right into it? I'll show you the sensor, where it is, and how it works, and how you can actually monitor that in real time. It's very, very cool. If you're interested, links in the description down below that'll take you over to bigbattery.com where um, I picked up all this equipment. It was sent to me for a review. So that link will take you on over to their website. If you guys are interested in any of this stuff, they have all kinds of stuff. All right, let's jump into it. So I have uh, some Cat6 Ethernet cable to make up the extra distance that the sensor wire couldn't reach. And so the orange is positive and the brown is negative connected to the sensor. And I have those connected to the first and second terminal of channel four. Um, the reason being that for, the, for this particular sensor, you have to have the 24 volt power supply. And so that's just what the instructions called for. So that's what I did. And then the USB from the GX Tank 140 goes to the Serbo GX into that USB slot. And here I'll give it a little jiggle so you can kind of see where that's running. And they connected and recognized each other instantly. And so connection was automatic. And then it was listed in the Serbo GX settings as a device that you could control. And uh, also I have the touchscreen panel so I can check out my tank levels or adjust settings from the basement without using my phone or a laptop. And you can see that there. And so then basically from the GX140, it runs under through the wall and underneath the crawl space of my house, approximately 50 feet that I measured. And then you have the extra five feet that it dangles into the tank. So about 55 feet of cable is what's used. And I drilled a small hole in the side of my tank for the wire and ran that through. Now we're gonna check this out. Okay, so on my phone here, I have my uh, VRM brought up right here that's gonna show our, our level and everything by the gallon and our percentage. And so I'm gonna have that screen recording. And now what we're gonna do is open this up. You can see my, my, my cable comes in right here for the sensor. Just for now, I have that covered in tape. I gotta seal that up a little bit better. But what I'm gonna do is reach inside here and start pulling up this cable and it will change the pressure as I pull it up. So I'm tricking it into thinking the water level's changed, but we'll be able to see on the screen that that's just gonna drop and drop with uh, every little bit that I pull this up until we get right to the surface of the water. See, so this is out. Now I'm just gonna touch it to the water. And you can see that's pretty much how that gauge works. And you can set this to be fine tuned to wherever you like. But out of the water, we're gonna, we should be at about zero. And then as we put it into the water, it's gonna to touch right now. It's touching the water. And then as we drop it all the way down to the preset level that I uh, set it for to equal zero, and you see as we settle back in, we should go back to about the same same level there. And that's how that, that sensor works. And just to show you guys the sensor one more time, we'll pull this all the way out. 
That's what the sensor looks like right there. And you just drop that into your tank. It's got a lot of weight to it, so all you need to do is just let it go down to the level that you want and set your, your values and you're good to go. We're also gonna show the sensor value in milliamps just for fun, which is how it determines the, the level. So as I pull this up, you'll see that the milliamps are gonna change with it as well. Now I have it closer to the top, you can see the milliamps drop. And when we're completely out of the water, you see our milliamp uh, value there. And so that's where you would kind of set uh, to empty, that's where your tank would be when the water level is completely out, when the sensor's out. And we're going to drop that all the way back in and we'll see that sensor go right back up. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you here how you kind of initially set this up. So if you put the sensor where your tank would be empty, um, the default value on this thing is going to be 4 milliamps. So you can see the sensor when value went empty, 4 milliamps. You can adjust that, of course. You also set up the capacity of your tank, etc. And then you fill up your tank, and when it's full, and you want to call it full, you're going to adjust the milliamps here for full. And if, say, it's full and it says it's 97%, you could adjust this up or down until it says 100%. So 100% adjustable, you can also, you know, put in the fluid type that you want to use for gas or water or anything else the the shape of your um your your tank everything is adjustable incredibly simple to do absolutely loving it and uh you can adjust it any way you wish i'm absolutely loving this upgraded system it's way better than the ultrasonic setup that i used to have on that tank that basically just told me when it was a quarter full half full three quarters and full with four little LED lights. And that worked okay for a time, but this is so much more accurate and I just love it. Not to mention the fact that I can set up alarms in the uh, VRM, which is a Victron app, that will actually email me and notify me when the tank gets to certain levels. So if I wanna make sure that I fill that up when it gets down to 25%, I create the alarm value and then boom, it emails me when it gets down to 24%, 25%. And um, I think that's incredibly, incredibly cool and very, very handy to have so I don't have to risk burning up my pumps. If I forget to check the water and we're getting low and then it goes to zero and the pump runs dry and it can cause damage, absolutely cool that you can set alarms with this as well and it's very very accurate um this is more expensive than some other setups that you could do but frankly um for the price i, I had an ultrasonic uh system on the outside of my tank like i said and that was around 120 dollars and it, and it was fine but i think this is probably around like three times that price to get it initially set up uh, with the components but so worth it in my opinion. I absolutely love it. So I hope this kind of helps you guys out. Um, if you'd like me to do a really in-depth video on how to set all this stuff up, uh, leave it in the comments below. I may or may not address that in a later video. Um, we'll see if you guys are interested in that. But loving the Victron system, everything I can do with this thing is absolutely incredible. Um, I also have a temperature sensor that's inside my deep freeze and that can tell me, you know, give me a warning as well if somebody leaves the lid open, which happened in the deep freezer and then I got a warning that said hey your temperature is rising in the deep freeze and I went down there and sure enough you know I left it open so I closed that saved my entire freezer full of food it's a really really cool versatile system and I've been loving it and um, again thanks bigbattery.com for sending me all the stuff to test out and review if you're interested link in the description below I think that about wraps it up for just how cool this uh, monitoring system is for tank levels and um, if that helped you out please like share subscribe that really helps me out and until the next video my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club thanks so much for watching you guys and happy camping <laughs>